from your local news leader. This is NBC 10 News at 6. Right now, we hear from the father of one of the victims of the California shooting. What he says caused his son his life. And blood donations reach critically low levels, but OneDrive is aiming to make a big difference. Plus, a look at the impact of the government shutdown. We'll have a look at what alcoholic beverage may be at risk. Hello and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Chelsea Jones. Randy has the evening off. Our top story tonight, three men were killed and four injured during a shooting at a late night bowling alley in Los Angeles. Police say gunfire inside the Gable House Bowl terrified patrons who ran for their lives. Investigators have not identified any suspects or released details about what led to the shooting. Witnesses say it started as a fight between two large groups. A father of one of those killed says he received a call from a relative who told him his son was trying to calm things down when the shooting erupted. He was trying to break up the fight. A bunch of girls fighting the thing. And he was trying to break up the fight. And then this guy came out of nowhere and, and started shooting. Police say they are reviewing security video to try and identify the suspect or suspects. No arrests have been made. In Louisiana news tonight, several gathered in support of the five Louisiana children who lost their lives in a fiery crash. They were on their way to the happiest place on earth. Friday night at a church in Mansura, people gathered to pray for the families and friends of those involved in the tragic accident. Two big rigs and a church van carrying those five children collided and caught fire Thursday off of an Interstate 75 near Gainesville. The driver of the two big rigs did die and at least eight other people were injured. Now, those five young victims killed in the crash are identified as Joel Cloud, Jeremiah Warren, Sierra Bordelin, Cara Descant, and Brianna Descant. Of the seven surviving members of the church group, one of the women suffered a few broken bones but is expected to recover. Another woman was pregnant, but doctors say she and the baby are going to be okay. Now, continuing with our crash coverage, the Avoyles Parish School Superintendent, he also spoke about the tragic events, and here's what he had to say. It's been tough when you're a small community, everybody knows everybody, and uh, it's, so it's, it's been a really hard day around here. The cause of the crash is being investigated at this time. Now to our crime beat. A two-year-long arson investigation leads to a fifth arrest. 39-year-old Tabitha Bankston was arrested and booked Friday into the Franklin Parish Jail in relation to a 2016 structure fire. These four people have already been arrested and charged with several things. Bankston is currently pending extradition to the Livingston Parish Jail, where she will face one count of conspiracy to commit simple arson. A West Monroe man is out on bail for child porn charges, but he's back behind bars accused of soliciting a minor. 26-year-old Christopher Stamper faces one count of computer-aided solicitation of a minor. Washita Parish Shares made the arrest after an investigation of online solicitation of an 11-year-old back in Washington State. Stamper was already out on bond for another arrest in February of last year related to child porn. The investigation is continuing and deputies say more charges are possible. And continuing our crime beat, an Arkansas woman is tased, accused of stealing over $800 in purses from Dillard's. 43-year-old Tonia Bass was caught stealing purses from the department store just after noon Friday. Police caught up to Bass and told her she was being placed under arrest, but she resisted, causing the officer to tase her. Bass is currently being held at the Washita Correctional Center, and her bond is set at $3,000. A Monroe Low Company is robbed three times in less than three weeks. Reliable Finance on Pine Street was robbed November 27th, December 5th, and December 14th. In the incident most recent, suspects were in and out within 15 minutes. According to employees, each time the suspects wore masks and gloves. Now, during the most recent robbery, the suspects forced their way in, holding a security equipment contractor at gunpoint. The robbers tied up the employees, then left with the deposit and the new security equipment. If you have any information to help the Monroe Police, you're asked to call 318-329-2600. 
Now, the impact of the partial government shutdown can be seen across the nation. But today, negotiations to end the shutdown wrapped up in Washington with plans to meet again tomorrow. The shutdown has now entered its third week. At today's meeting, Trump administration aides say Homeland Security Secretary Christian Nelson provided a full briefing about the crisis on the southern border. They say Vice President Mike Pence reiterated President Trump's position that more than $5 billion in funding is needed for the border wall. Democrats have requested more details in writing from the Homeland Security Department, and they say that they will provide those details either tonight or Sunday. President Trump has said this could last years. Now, some federal workers appear to have found a way around working without pay. Hundreds of TSA officers called out of work this week at some major airports. That's according to two senior agency officials and three TSA union officials. Callouts have increased up to 300% at the Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport, and North Carolina airports report 10% higher callouts. One union official says the absences could have an effect on security air travel, but TSA officials issued a statement Friday acknowledging that the increase is minimal. I mean, it is a thing and impact is minimal and security will not be compromised. TSA workers are those required to work without pay during this shutdown. And the government shutdown does not just affect government employees. It could possibly hurt your favorite brewery. That's because the Alcohol and Tobacco Tax and Trade Bureau is closed. This means breweries cannot process permits or get approvals for new labels and beer. So if you're anticipating a new brewery to open, chances are that the grand opening will be delayed. And some new details tonight as some Louisiana residents will be getting less food stamp assistance this year. Now this month around 27% of the state's SNAP recipients will see less money from the program. While that may come as a surprise to some, SNAP amounts change every year based on income. Since the Social Security Administration adjusted the federal cost of living, some people are getting more money through other programs bumping up their income totals. According to our numbers, the average increase in the Social Security and SSI benefits was around $21 a month, and the average decrease in SNAP benefits, I would guess, is around $7. This is unrelated to the government shutdown. The U.S. Department of Agriculture says SNAP benefits will run through January if the shutdown carries on past then. The future of the program could be in limbo. Now coming up on NBC 10 News at 6, Storytime at a Louisiana Library may get some new Storytime readers. And it's not Dr. Seuss. We'll have more on the unique switch up next. But first, the weather. Brian, today was so beautiful. That's right, Chelsea. It was a beautiful day. Hopefully you got out and enjoyed it because uh, we're going to have some cooler temperatures returning and eventually rain chances will return. We'll time all the details out later in weather. All when NBC 10 News at 6 continues. What's better than having fast, reliable Wi-Fi with coverage throughout your home? How about having internet that can help you save on wireless phone service? Xfinity gives you the fastest speeds from America's best internet provider to stream on all your devices. Plus, with Xfinity Mobile included, you can switch your wireless carrier and save hundreds of dollars a year. Now that's simple, easy, awesome. Get started for $29.99 a month for 12 months. Plus, ask how you can get Xfinity Mobile included so all you pay for is data. Switch today. Join us for Ag Expo at the Ike Hamilton Expo Center, Friday and Saturday, January 18th and 19th. Seahorse exhibits and demos, Ag Alley's mini farm, seminars, trade show, and more. Ag Expo is fun for the whole family. Brought to you by these sponsors. Advantage Health Plan, we're always on the go. That's why we can get our news from the Fox 14 NBC 10 mobile news app. Download the app today to get faster news updates and breaking news alerts. Best of all, it's free. Brought to you by Advantage Health Plan. Get the six minute advantage with the live Storm Tracker Doppler radar on NBC 10, keeping you and your family safe. Brought to you by Eorum Young Law, the bankruptcy specialist. I beat Meryl. This is different. Sandra O oh and Andy Sandler host the Golden Globes. I know, sit down. It's a war time. Live Sunday at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific on NBC. The button is back. And if they don't know... How many teeth do snails have? Ellen will give them the boot. Think about it on the way down. What? <laughs> Ellen's Game of Games premieres Tuesday on NBC. Oh, come on. You need an escape. This is wonderful. 
The Vape Escape has all your vaping needs covered. Enjoy the relaxed environment and feel free to sample flavors at our convenient tasting bar. Stamp card discounts for our house line. You can choose from over 100 flavors. We carry the newest assortment of devices and accessories and have the knowledge and experience to help with any questions. So try and escape the Vape Escape. West Monroe and Ruston. NBC 10 News at 6 continues. After months of back and forth over drag queen story time, it may finally happen at the Lafayette Public Library, but not as originally planned. Anyone can now reserve a library meeting space for any constitutionally protected purpose under an agreement struck Thursday between lawyers for the American Civil Liberties Union of Louisiana and city parish government. In the event in which men dress as women and rebucks to young children. It was originally scheduled for October 5th of last year. Members of the University of Louisiana Lafayette, Delta Lambda Phi, hosted, they host these events and they say they plan to book a room as soon as possible for a future date. Now switching gears a little bit, LifeShare is calling for your help. They say that blood supply has reached critically low levels and there is an immediate need for all blood types. But they're also needing some donors for an LSU offensive lineman, Matt Branch. Branch was accidentally shot in the leg at a duck hunting trip. The injury led to a partial amputation and he remains in the ICU fighting to recover. But today, LifeShare hosted a blood drive for all types at the First Baptist Church in Ravel. It was to help offset the supply given to help save Matt's life. I'm glad that I could come and give blood. Uh, we've got quite a few and with the beautiful sunshine we've got today. It was just a good thing to be able to come out and give something back to support Matt um, and all that he's gone through. Right over 100 people came out to donate blood, but if you miss today's drive, there will be another one at Merritt Health in Vicksburg Tuesday from 10 until 3. Now, weather is up next, and like I said, it's a great day. Oh, what are we expecting? So nice. So long, the sunshine, warm temperatures, but uh, we're going to change some things up, but at least it won't be as wet as what we saw last week. We'll time out all the de details coming up next. You're watching NBC 10 News at 6. We really love the holidays at Graham Grahams, but it's tough to relax. The dish guy heard us, said with the Dish Anywhere app, we could bring the comfort of our home TV along with us. Live TV, on demand, even our DVR shows. Feel good shows. <laughs> that put us right at ease, mostly. So many eyes. Take live TV, on demand, and your home DVR, anywhere. Dish, tuned into you. I had dug myself into a financial hole. Bill collectors was calling me every day. Credit card, medical bills were piling up. My paycheck was about to be garnished. And they was looking for my car. I kept digging myself into a deeper hole. I decided to call Sam. Let Sam give you straight answers to serious bankruptcy questions. No pressure, no sales pitch, no gimmicks. Call Sam for a free consultation and see if he can help you climb out of that hole. When severe weather threatens the Arklamas, turn to the station that has the tools and the team to keep your family safe. NBC 10, your local news leader. We are the believers. We are the hope keepers. Living to make a difference. And there's no We'll show here at Sports Nissan and Kia another lineup of hot deals. All these for $199 down and $199 a month. Like this 2018 certified pre-owned Nissan Citra. How about 2015 Dodge Journey with third row seating? We also have a 2017 Chevrolet Cruze and a 2015 Volvo XC60 with leather and a roof. All these deals for $199 down and $199 a month. Hot deals start with Sparks Nissan and Kia at 2165 in Monroe. Now, your local weather with meteorologist Brian Briggs. Well, happy Saturday evening. Hopefully, you were able to get out and enjoy the beautiful weather we had today. You could not have asked for a better Saturday across the Arklamis. And uh, on our sky cam, you might be able to kind of see it. There's just a little bit of light on the horizon. The days are actually starting to get longer. And uh, with each show, we should start to see the sun sticking around a little bit longer. And I get excited. I like that time of year when the days are longer and uh, when the weather is a little bit nicer. But uh, now that the sun has gone down with those clear skies, 
skies. Uh, we went from the mid to upper 60s to now the mid 50s. So we're dropping real quickly and because uh, we have a lot of clear skies that's allowing heat to escape into space pretty quickly. And uh, again, expect temperatures to be dropping pretty quickly. So uh, generally now we're in the 50s to 40s, depending on where you're at. Some locations already in the upper 40s. So uh, again, about an hour before the show started, we saw these temperatures in the 60s. So uh, yeah, it's... Uh, it's, in, it's insane how fast these temperatures are dropping. But uh, also, notice our dew point temperatures. They're uh, pretty high, and, and they're getting a little bit higher, too, as we get a little bit uh, later into the evening. And uh, this is going to be critical as... Uh when our temperatures and our dew point temperatures uh, get to that same value, they create fog. So we'll have fog across the Arklamis tonight, and some of it could be on the dense side. So we have a dense fog advisory, mainly for eastern portions of the Arklamis, and uh, extends into southern Arkansas as well, and that goes until 10 a.m. tomorrow. So just uh, be careful, keep that in mind. If you're going to be heading out and about tomorrow, you'll encounter some patchy, dense fog on your uh, way out. But uh, the reason why we had beautiful blue skies today, a massive ridge of high pressure has situated itself over us, and uh, all that orange and even some red that you're seeing, that's a uh, drier air in the upper levels. So uh, definitely kept all that cloud cover out of the way today. And uh, and so we're going to kind of switch gears here just to look at the uh, Washita River levels. Again, uh, we're cresting near minor flood stage at this point. So this is for the Washita River in Monroe. And uh, as we get through the next couple days, it'll be going into that uh, minor flood stage as a uh, you know runoff continues to filter in to the river and uh, but at least the good news is we'll have time to dry out we won't be expecting any more rain through the period at least uh, not heavy amounts of rain so look at that for Sunday you're not seeing anything on our future tracker here but Monday uh, you're seeing some clouds coming in and yes there's a little bit of green it's interesting to see what this go is going to do because models keep uh, drying this front out so we keep reducing rain chances which is a good thing and um, but we can't rule out some spotty showers for Monday but nothing like what we saw last week which is good news so for tonight temperatures dropping into the lower or the upper 30s areas of dense fog will develop and uh, so just keep that in mind through the overnight hours and then tomorrow we'll start off with that fog but then we'll have afternoon sunshine it'll burn off pretty quickly temperatures again getting into the upper 60s with uh, maybe just a few passing clouds but we'll see definitely a lot more sunshine than cloud cover for our Sunday so um, the seven day forecast really not looking too bad bad for the extended period. Again, just about a 10% chance of uh, some isolated shower activity from Monday into Tuesday, and then our temperatures plummet for Wednesday as uh, we have a cold front moving through, but the air is going to, the cooler air is taking a little bit of its time to get here, but uh, it'll knock our highs back into the 50s, and then maybe just a brief shower chance by the time we get to Friday. Well, let's hope that rain stays away. Yes. <laughs> Keep knocking them down. Bye. But still to come on NBC10, News at 6, ULM basketball returns to action versus Arkansas State. Plus, we've got some highlights from the final day of the Don Redding Classic. Chris Emergen is just two minutes away. The odds of winning the lottery? One in almost 14 million. That's why it pays to enter the NBC10 Great Gas Card Giveaway with over $38,000 given away so far. The Great Gas Card Giveaway, weeknights on NBC10 News at 10. Enter now at Hickson Ford or MyArklamis.com. What's better than having fast, reliable Wi-Fi with coverage throughout your home? How about having internet that can help you save on wireless phone service? Xfinity gives you the fastest speeds from America's best internet provider to stream on all your devices. Plus, with Xfinity Mobile included, you can switch your wireless carrier and save hundreds of dollars a year. Now that's simple, easy, awesome. Get started for $29.99 a month for 12 months. Plus, ask how you can get Xfinity Mobile included so all you pay for is data. Switch today. News, weather, and sports. Follow us on the KTVE NBC 10 KARD Fox 14 Facebook page. Your friends at Floorworks are here and ready to serve you on Cypress Street in West Monroe. Thousands of styles from modern to classic, one room projects, entire home makeovers, or commercial projects. Let us help you choose which is right for you. If you need help financing or are recovering from a home disaster, come see us. We'll see if you qualify for 12 months no interest financing. Floorworks, Flooring America, where friends send friends. 3712 Cypress Street in West Monroe. What's going on at Homeland Bank? We're visiting. In a bank? Yeah, we do it every day. Really? But this is a bank. Nobody visits in a bank. We do. 
We want to talk to you. Come in and have a cup of coffee with us. From Columbia to Gina to Monroe and West Monroe. We want to know what your needs are so we can serve you better. We are the bank that listens. Homeland Bank. Opening doors since 1986. We're Homeland Bank. Where's your money? Now, your local sports with Chris Demersion. Well, the Warhawks are lights out at home. They're actually 6-0 at Fant Ewing when scoring 85 points or more. They're pretty tight. Tight as this jacket right now. I'm getting all that weight I did uh, last night. They entertain Arkansas State this afternoon. ULM is already in front. Deshaun Smith, a J.D. Williams, knocks down the triple. Barely got in there, but it did. Moving on to the action. Smith, who scored 42 on Thursday, sets up Andre Washington for the lay-in. Washington also had 18 points. Second half action, Michael Ertl, been a stud all year long for ULM, kicks it out to Williams for another three? Yes, sir. He also had 18 points this afternoon. Warhawk still in command. Oh, bring out the jars of mayo. This time it's Ertl. He has a rock. The Indiana native drains a three ball of his own. Ertl had 19 points. Guess what? Deshaun Smith led with 24. Warhawks win 85-75. Texers, who lost a tough one in North Texas, returns to action versus Rice. Kier Anthony led the way for the second straight game with 28 points, but it's Lady Owls who come up with a 61-51 victory. Coach Brooks Stores crew shot 35% from the field. That includes one for 14 from three-point range. Complete opposite for Rice, who shot 53%. The visitors also out-rebounded Tech 35-24. Texters are at UAB on Thursday night. This one just getting in. ULM at Arkansas State. Going to the second quarter, yeah, starting out there. Lauren Fitch finds Amber Thompson open outside. Warhawks tie this thing up. Later on in the action, then Thompson has the basketball right here. Goes inside for another two after a little hesitation shot. ULM actually takes a lead. Later, Arsula Clark with the rock. Kicks over to Destiny Lunsford from the corner. Three. ULM goes up two. Then Whitney Goins. ULM still in command, drives and dish over Diamond Brooks for the easy two. A-State led ULM 30-27 at the half, but unfortunately, Arkansas State pulls away 64-54. Bulldogs men, they was a tough one at Rice, 78-55. In Alabama, Grambling and women open up swag play with a road victory at Alabama State. The men so far lock at 14 with the Hornets in the first half. It's day three of the Don Redden Classic, named, of course, for former Washita and LSU star who passed away in 1988. This afternoon brings out some of the rival matchups. Starting off with a battle of 165, Carroll hooping it up with Wasman. Wildcats with an early lead in this one. Good ball movement so far, as they always do. Goes inside to Nick Trailer, who gets the layup. Wasman. Trying to add a little more to the lead later on. But Henry Manny with rejection says, nah, dude, that ain't happening to my watch. Sea Dogs have it later on, and so does Terrell Moden. Crosses this thing up, steps back, hits the jumper. This one's still going on. We'll have a final for you at 10. Two 4A foes duking it out. Neville and Franklin Parrish. Neville down five. Will Campbell going inside, but he's rejected by Franklin's Dontro Hill. Too many rejections. Like Chelsea, we're rejecting all those men. <laughs> <laughs> Moments later, Pat possession. Robert Coleman to Jay Byron Pleasant from downtown. They're up eight. Second half, Patriots in charge. Pleasant misses his three-point try. Kandaris Mart with the rebound and the putback. Tigers looking to stay in, however, moving the ball around. Eventually, goes to their main man, number 24 from mid-range. Knocks down the jumper. This one's still going on as well. A final four yet, 10 o'clock. First game of the day, Simmonsboro meets West Monroe. Tigers in transition goes over to Gianni Nelson goes from baseline to the paint and the foul he complete the three-point play Rebels down four in this one down over to Jerry Day in traffic he eventually gets out of it for the pump fake for the bucket gets it West Monroe or Simsboro rather goes on to win this thing 70 61 the final Washington Rebel hooping it up at seven o'clock we'll have a final for you from that at ten o'clock more news and weather up next after the break on Channel 10. Get 10 minutes of uninterrupted coverage of your local news and weather at the top of the newscast. 10 at 10 on 10. Give NBC 10 News at 10. 10 minutes and we'll give you the Arklamis. NBC 10, your local news leader. 
The Vape Escape has all your vaping needs covered. Enjoy the relaxed environment and feel free to sample flavors at our convenient tasting bar. We carry the newest assortment of devices and accessories and have the knowledge and experience to help with any questions. So try and escape The Vape Escape. Nick Bolton here with the latest from Bell & Howell. We call them... Tack glasses. Inspired by the sunglasses worn by our heroes in uniform, tack glasses block blinding glares so well, invisible objects suddenly become visible. Enhance colors to give you vision as sharp as an eagle's and survive even the harshest conditions. Act now to get your tack glasses for just $19.99 and we'll even ship it to you free. So don't delay. Order yours today. Drivers are 23 times more likely to crash when texting while driving. Don't be a statistic. Sign the pledge at notextarclimist.com. Brought to you by Creed and Creed, your local injury attorneys. We really love the holidays at Graham Grahams, but it's tough to... Relax. <sighs> the dish guy heard us. Said with the Dish Anywhere app, we could bring the comfort of our home TV along with us. Live TV, on demand, even our DVR shows. Feel good shows. <laughs> that put us right at ease. Mostly. So many eyes. Take live TV, on demand, in your home DVR, anywhere. Dish, tuned into you. Find your freedom with the all-new NBC10 mobile sports app. Featuring faster highlights and scores to keep you in the game. And it's free. The NBC10 mobile sports app for Apple and Android. Brought to you by Ross Downs, attorney at law. Another beautiful day for our Sunday. And uh, nice weather sticks around. The warm weather at least sticks around in the first part of the upcoming work week. Then we get a cold front moving through. During the Monday to Tuesday time frame, the cooler air lags behind it. Much cooler as we get Wednesday and Thursday and Friday. Small system may be bringing a few showers back for our Friday. But uh, at this time, it looks like they would be minimal. And uh, as we get to the next weekend, staying in the 50s. But uh, at least we're seeing more dry days than wet ones on our 7-day forecast. Well, I'm excited for this um, dry weather. I don't need the rain. Maybe Me too. Chris does. Why? So you could take a shower. Well, I'm, I haven't showered in a couple of days. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Yeah. I'm, I'm, kidding. Wanna... <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Shut up. Uh, I'll see you guys back here. We'll see you guys back here tonight at 10. Stay up to date on myarthfulness.com. We'll see you later.